guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys, and oh boy, well, I guess seeing how this uh, past uh, weekend, uh, seeing both uh, Barbie and Oppenheimer really took a lot out of me uh, for uh, sure. I guess I knew right away uh, I definitely need a lot of catching up to do in terms of uh, some uh, new movies that are coming out for sure. And I do mean a lot of catching up uh, for uh, sure. So, yeah, I think it's pretty much what I could say, of course, that I got front of for sure, and, well, if you actually, uh, pretty much, uh, may recall, of course, my last, uh, thoughts video, uh, when I talked about the Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir movie, yeah, it looks like, uh, it is now the month of August, uh, as of, uh, now, so, so, yeah, quite interesting, uh, way to, of course, I uh, kick off the, uh, new month uh, for uh, sure, and, well, I guess seeing how uh, summer vacation will, of course, uh, soon uh, dwindle down to a close uh, for uh, all the uh, kids out there, uh, for uh, sure. Uh, I, I think it pretty much uh, counts for uh, something, uh, for uh, sure, so. So, yeah. I guess seeing how I uh, did uh, manage to uh, have a pretty good time with, of course, Barbie and Oppenheimer uh, the uh, past weekend. I decided to do a lot of uh, catching up to do in terms of uh, new movies that are out as of uh, now, and well, believe it or not, looks like we're in for another real tree, uh, of course, uh, this one. So, so yeah, just earlier today, depending on, of course, uh, why I'm recording this uh, video, I head on back over to Crown City Cinemas as always. Really good place, by the way. I still highly recommend it as uh, always, and. And of course, uh, oddly enough, I went ahead and uh, gone for another double feature this time, so, so yeah, quite interesting that I've been doing a lot of double features uh, as of uh, now. I guess it pretty much uh, depends on, of course, the uh, really great amount of uh, movies that are, of course, well, actually uh, coming out for sure that I think would be uh, good enough uh, for me to uh, talk about uh, for sure, so... So yeah, and of course for uh, this uh, double feature for uh, sure, looks like I'm in for a uh, real surprise uh, tree, of course, uh, this one uh, for uh, sure, and, and of course uh, for the uh, first movie I'm going to be uh, talking about here today, boy, it looks like uh, when I say uh, we're in for a real treat, I mean when I say we are in for a real treat, uh, of course, uh, this one, so... So yeah, and uh, oddly enough, it actually uh, is a uh, one that just uh, that came out very recently that I actually uh, had the privilege to uh, go see uh, first uh, for sure. So, so yeah, and of course, in case you uh, a lot of you guys uh, may be wondering, uh, what is it I'm gonna be uh, talking about here today? Well, let me answer that question with another question that I have all of you guys. Uh, so, how about we get ourselves treated with an animated feature film? based around a group of, of course, well, pretty much, uh, probably I think uh, everyone can describe them as, well, heroes in a half shell. Yeah, I think you can pretty much uh, see where I'm going at with, of course, this one, uh, but in case you actually uh, don't, we're actually going to be uh, talking about the latest movie that just came out not too uh, long ago, uh, of course, the uh, heroes in a half shell uh, themselves, which is none other than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, so, so yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much all what I'm going to be uh, talking about here today, it is of course the uh, latest movie that had just came out uh, not too uh, long ago, and it's of course uh, based around the uh, heroes in a half shell of themselves, which are, well, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say on of course that front. All right. All right. So uh, before I can go ahead and uh, talk about uh, this uh, latest movie, I think it is actually uh, quite fitting uh, to actually uh, talk about well the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles themselves. So, so yeah. What can I say about the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that a lot of people uh, haven't already uh, said uh, for uh, sure? So. Pretty much, uh, if anything, uh, pretty much ever since uh, it's uh, pretty much uh, first uh, popped up uh, for uh, sure, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have actually uh, been quite a bit of a staple uh, from when they first started. Uh, 
pretty much starting off uh, from the original uh, comic books uh, that uh, pretty much uh, began all to, of course, uh, pretty much uh, kicking off uh, really, really great with numerous amount of uh, cartoon shows, uh, particularly the most notable one uh, being uh, the uh, cartoon uh, show from the 80s, which is sweet, so... So yeah, and of course, let's not forget to mention, uh, pretty much, uh, it uh, did also have its uh, fair share of uh, movies uh, for uh, sure, uh, with of course, uh, the live action films uh, from of course the 90s, to of course the anime feature film TMNT from 2007, to of course, uh, well, the previous uh, movies that uh, we actually uh, got uh, before uh, this uh, latest one, uh, the uh, pretty much uh, the uh, second live action uh, movie series, or I guess in this case, the uh, live-action duology uh, series uh, produced by Michael Bay from the uh, that were released back in the uh, mid uh, 2010s uh, for sure. So, so yeah, and that's just to uh, name me a few uh, on top of everything else that's uh, popped up in regards to uh, the Ninja Turtles uh, for sure. So, so yeah, I know that's definitely saying a whole lot because I personally never actually uh, grew up with, of course, uh, the Ninja Turtles uh, when uh, I have. Uh, was around uh, for uh, sure, but it wouldn't be until some time later when I uh, first uh, took note, uh, of course, of uh, what they've, uh, uh, on uh, pretty much uh, their uh, popularity, and yeah, I guess there's no doubt in my mind that, uh, yeah, pretty much of anything, the Ninja Turtles is actually uh, really quite a massive uh, staple uh, for uh, sure, so. So yeah, I guess if anything, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have actually been around uh, for uh, quite a long uh, time now for uh, sure, and uh, and yeah, personally I think it is actually uh, the uh, one thing that uh, really pops into your head when you think of uh, some uh, really nice uh, throwbacks uh, from uh, the uh, 80s and 90s uh, for uh, sure, on top of everything else that's uh, been around uh, for those two decades uh, alone, so... So, yeah, I think it's pretty much what I can say, of course, on that front, uh, for sure, so, so, yeah, well, I actually uh, heard the news about uh, this movie, uh, based on why I uh, saw the uh, trailers, especially with, of course, uh, pretty much a uh, well-known actor, Seth Rogen, attached to, of course, this uh, project. I'm not gonna lie, I actually did uh, get uh, quite curious to uh, see on uh, how it'll uh, go, uh, for uh, sure, because... Yeah, if anything, I'm actually all for a uh, different interpretation of uh, the Ninja Turtles to uh, see on how they uh, fare up for uh, sure, so. So yeah, and luckily enough, earlier today, uh, as part of my uh, double feature, I did manage to, of course, uh, go and actually uh, see this uh, movie for uh, myself, uh, just to uh, see on how it'll uh, fare up for uh, sure, and... And yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much uh, what I uh, did uh, for sure, and and yeah, now that I've officially uh, got back from, of course, uh, seeing this uh, movie, I guess a lot of you guys may be wondering, what do I think of this uh, movie now that uh, I finally got the uh, chance to uh, see it? Well, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think it is actually uh, well worth it in the end, because this movie, I'm not gonna lie, is actually a really, really uh, surprising uh, to me, and it really is uh, well worth the uh, watch uh, for sure. So, so yeah, literally from, of course, uh, what I'm actually uh, seeing, I think this movie really nailed it on the head uh, for uh, sure. And yeah, if anything, it actually uh, pretty much uh, thought I would uh, get for a Ninja Turtles movie. A, eh? well, a Ninja Turtles movie, which, yeah, I guess in the end, actually did result in, of course, well, a very solid flick, uh, hands down. So, so yeah. It's pretty much why I can say, of course, that front. Alright. Alright, so uh, now that I've actually got the uh, short version out of the way, uh, I guess I might as well go ahead and talk about everything that I need to uh, talk about for a uh, sure. So for stars is, of course, the story for, of course, this movie and... Oddly enough, uh, personally, I do kind of feel uh, parts of, of course, the uh, story for me uh, does actually uh, feel a bit complicated uh, for uh, sure, uh, almost like a uh, little bit of something that I uh, would uh, see in other uh, movies that I just uh, couldn't think uh, working, of course, uh, this one uh, for uh, sure. But however, 
from what I've actually uh, seen, regardless of, of course, uh, parts of the uh, story being a bit uh, complicated uh, entirely, I actually uh, do think uh, they uh, really uh, turned out to uh, craft uh, a really nice uh, story from, of course, uh, what I've actually seen. And yeah, pretty much uh, from uh, what I can see in my perspective, it really does uh, work uh, well uh, to, to its advantage uh, for uh, sure. Uh, they don't just uh, rush to, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the uh, pretty much the uh, big stuff right away. No, I think uh, for certain parts of the movie, it actually does take time and uh, be a little bit more flow down uh, for sure and and that's something I actually uh, really do liking a uh, good number of uh, movies I've actually uh, seen uh, over the years they don't just uh, build up to the big stuff right away they actually took its time to uh, let everything flow out for uh, sure so so yeah and of course uh, from what I'm actually seeing I think uh, this movie really uh, did a fine job and of course uh, doing exactly that uh, for uh, sure it really is uh, something that I really uh, do admire uh, entirely, and yeah, I think they uh, did a uh, really good job uh, for sure. Well, I mean, uh, not great entirely, but still actually uh, done good uh, for sure, so. So yeah, and of course, uh, for uh, the uh, writing, I have to uh, say, Honestly, again, I think maybe uh, some parts of this movie I do kind of felt uh, were uh, not written out uh, very well, in my opinion. Uh, maybe I think it's uh, because I think uh, they uh, did try their best to uh, work around uh, as much as they can uh, with the uh, good amount of material they uh, want to uh, put out for uh, sure. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, it's pretty much uh, what I could uh, say for, of course, uh, this uh, movie uh, entirely uh, in terms of its uh, writing. Uh, Maybe I think uh, some parts of it could have been uh, reworked a whole lot more, but but again, much like uh, with uh, what I've actually seen uh, for the uh, story, uh, pretty much of anything, the uh, complaints uh, I have with it uh, are definitely tossed aside in favor of, of course, some really admirable uh, stuff that I actually really do like, and I do think the uh, writing, for a while I do think uh, there are a few parts that uh, I do think could have been worked out a whole lot more, Re it still really does uh, nail it on the uh, head entirely, and I really do uh, admire that from, from of course, uh, what I've actually uh, seen, so... So yeah, and of course, let's not forget to mention, it did also uh, put in a few bits and pieces of comedy, which, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, uh, did actually uh, give me a bit of a chuckle uh, here and there, so... So yeah, not all the uh, jokes uh, land, uh, in my opinion, but I do think a uh, good number of them actually did give me a really good chuckle, uh, for sure, and that's something I actually uh, really uh, do admire, uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I think it's pretty much what I can say for, of course, the story and the writing and the uh, comedy, of course, this uh, movie. They can pretty much uh, speak for themselves, uh, for sure, so. So yeah, it's pretty much what I can say on that. Alright. Alright, so, uh. So yeah. Now that I've actually got those out of the way, I think I might as well go ahead and talk about the next couple of themes uh, that I need to uh, talk about, which are, of course, for starters, the characters, and... Yeah, if there's one thing I actually really do admire, of course, this movie, I really do think the uh, characters in this movie are just absolutely incredible for uh, sure, and, and I think we uh, do... Uh, pretty much uh, know all the uh, characters uh, for sure, uh, like not just the uh, Ninja Turtles themselves, like of course uh, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael, but also uh, a few uh, great amount of uh, ones that we uh, got in this uh, movie, like of course uh, Splinter, April O'Neil, uh, Baxter Stockman, uh, and, uh, and yeah, that's just to uh, name me a few uh, for sure, and and yeah, I think uh, with, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, seen, the characters, I have to say, yeah, I guess there's no doubt in my mind, they are really that likable and uh, interesting, in my opinion. And, uh, and yeah, that's something I really uh, do admire, for sure. I really do uh, care for, of course, uh, all the uh, characters uh, from, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, seen. And they really uh, gave us a really great amount of uh, development that I've actually uh, followed quite well, uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and see what... Uh, problems and flaws uh, they're willing to uh, overcome uh, for uh, sure and I think this uh, movie really uh, does uh, do that uh, for uh, sure and and yeah I can even uh, say the uh, same thing for the uh, villains uh, for uh, sure and and yeah I think with of course uh, what I've actually seen I really do uh, 
I really do like the uh, motivation they uh, give to, of course, uh, the uh, villains, and of course, uh, this uh, movie, and, uh... And actually, uh, see, uh, of course, uh, what sort of evil plan uh, they uh, want to, of course, uh, that they uh, want to uh, pursue in order to, you know, take over the world, uh, and see on uh, how our heroes are willing to, of course, uh, overcome all that uh, altogether and actually uh, put a stop to it entirely, so... So yeah, I think it's pretty much what I can say for all the uh, characters, so for sure, it is something I really do admire in this movie, and I think they really took a fine job with, of course, exactly that, so... So yeah, and let's not forget to mention uh, the actors that played all these uh, characters. Holy fucking shit! This movie really pushed out on uh, the uh, star powering, of course, this movie because there's like a ton of these that they uh, got out for a sure. And yeah, personally to me, I think they actually uh, pulled off some uh, really, really great performances in my opinion. And I can tell uh, with, of course, uh, what I'm actually uh, seeing. Uh, I really do uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, how well casted this uh, movie is uh, entirely uh, for a sure. And with every single, uh, pretty much uh, every single actor uh, playing uh, their uh, characters, I think uh, they uh, really uh, nailed their uh, characters uh, perfectly uh, for a sure. And it actually does match uh, entirely from, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, seen uh, for a sure. That's something I really do admire, and this movie really uh, made sure to do a really damn uh, great job on that, and it actually uh, delivered uh, for a sure hand. And of course, another thing that I really do admire, of course, this movie is the hand. Believe it or not, uh, they actually, uh, I think uh, for the uh, Ninja Turtles themselves in this uh, movie, I really do admire that they actually uh, brought in actual teenage uh, boys to actually uh, play all these uh, characters uh, for uh, sure, which, yeah, personally to me, uh, I think it is actually uh, really incredible. Uh, Pretty much of anything, uh, you don't see uh, adults actually uh, trying their best to uh, play uh, pretty much uh, teenagers uh, for uh, sure. No, they actually uh, did get actual teenage boys to uh, play the uh, Ninja Turtles themselves. I mean, it kind of makes sense uh, because, well, the title of, of course, of the movie, let alone the entire franchise, is entitled Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so... Man, they really push hard on the uh, teenage part uh, for a uh, sure, and that's something I uh, really do admire for a uh, sure. And I think this movie really uh, did an incredible job on that. So, so yeah, I think it's pretty much what I can say for, of course, uh, that aspect uh, for a uh, sure. So, so yeah, pretty much if anything, both the uh, characters are likable and interesting, and the actors really did give off some really, really great performances in my opinion, which. Yeah, it really makes this movie uh, w pretty much uh, work uh, all around, in my opinion. So, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say, uh, of course, that front. All right. All right, so, uh, so yeah, now that I've actually uh, got those two out of the way, what else is there for me to uh, talk about? Actually, a whole lot of for sure. Uh, for starters, is, of course, the animation and... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I think the animation in this movie is just absolutely, uh, it's just absolutely amazing, uh, entirely, uh, for a uh, sure, uh, pretty much, uh, from, of course, uh, what I've actually seen, I really do, uh, admire the, uh, really great styles they actually, uh, put into, of course, uh, the animation, of course, this, uh, movie, and it is something I actually, uh, really do admire, everything from, of course, uh, pretty much, uh, CG mixed in with, of course, uh, sketch drawings to, of course, uh, rotoscoping, and, uh, and yeah, plenty of uh, others, uh, just to uh, name me a few, uh, really actually uh, does uh, work uh, very, very well. And yeah, I say it's uh, definitely the uh, best part in the uh, movie. And yeah, to uh, show on actually uh, on how great this uh, movie is, uh, once you actually see it for yourself, personally to me, I think it's uh, pretty much on the uh, same level as, say, well, pretty much uh, both of the uh, Spider-Verse uh, movies uh, for uh, sure. I really do... Uh, love on how well the animation actually uh, looks and it is something I couldn't get enough of entirely. It is actually that great in my opinion, so. So yeah, and of course, uh, mixing in with of course, uh, not only uh, the uh, great amount of uh, atmosphere as well as its uh, 
tongue, and even some really nice uh, visuals and effects uh, for uh, sure. It is actually uh, something I really do uh, admiring, of course, this uh, movie, and it actually uh, makes it uh, all the more incredible for uh, sure. Pretty much having a really, really nice uh, mixture of both uh, the original comic books and, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the uh, cartoon shows uh, as well, and I actually really do uh, like that uh, nice big of a uh, combination, and of course, uh, the animation styling, of course, this movie, which really does uh, work all around, and I really do uh, admire that uh, entirely for uh, sure, so... So yeah, I think it's pretty much all why I can't say for, of course, uh, that got front of for uh, sure, so... So yeah, and of course, uh, the direction in this um, movie, uh, yeah, I have to say, it is just absolutely incredible entirely. I really love uh, how well directed this uh, film is, uh, for sure, and the uh, film's director really uh, did an incredible job to uh, make this uh, movie uh, work, and yeah. It is something I actually uh, do admiring, of course, this uh, movie, and I think they uh, really did incredible on, of course, that front. Plus, uh, it actually uh, got some pretty nice, uh, pretty much, uh, cinematography with some pretty good camera shots, in my opinion, and uh, it's even caught up nicely through some pretty good uh, egging, I have to say, and yeah, that's just to uh, name me a few uh, for sure, but um... But yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much all uh, I can say, of course, that front, uh, and yeah, I guess if anything, it really uh, actually does uh, capture the uh, spirit of, of course, the uh, Ninja Turtles themselves, which, yeah, really does uh, work out well, in my opinion. I think this uh, movie really uh, kept true to the uh, heart and the spirit of the Ninja Turtles, uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, it's pretty much why I can say, of course, that front. All right. All right, so, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything that I can say, uh, of course, uh, that front for sure. So, so yeah, overall, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is without a doubt a really, really nice and really, uh, pretty much an uh, incredible uh, movie uh, all around, uh, for uh, sure. It's got everything, uh, of course, why we expect uh, from the uh, Ninja Turtles uh, themselves, and yeah, it really does uh, deliver, uh, of course, uh, what it's actually uh, being uh, given, for uh, sure, which actually uh, does make it a pretty fun uh, movie uh, all around, uh, for uh, sure, so... So, yeah, I think it's uh, why well, could say, uh, of course, uh, that got front, uh, for uh, sure, and... I guess in comparison to, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the other Ninja Turtles movies that uh, came out before uh, this one, I have to say this movie is definitely the best one, uh, in my opinion, uh, for uh, sure. And, and yeah, I think I know that uh, pretty much uh, is saying a whole lot uh, for uh, sure. Like, you can definitely uh, still uh, admire uh, the uh, Ninja Turtles uh, movies uh, from the uh, 90s uh, for sure. Except for the uh, third uh, film, uh, and you can actually uh, find some decency in the uh, 2017 MNT uh, movie for uh, sure, and I don't even know uh, what to uh, say, uh, of course, uh, on uh, what you can uh, say about the uh, Michael Bay Ninja Turtles movies beforehand. Eh. But yeah, I guess either way, uh, this movie, I have to say, is definitely uh, the best one in my opinion. And it really does uh, pretty much uh, give us, uh, of course, uh, why we expect for a Ninja Turtles uh, movie for uh, sure. And this movie really did deliver, uh, of course, on uh, that front. And I'm really glad uh, that I got exactly uh, that uh, for uh, sure. So. So yeah, I guess uh, either way, I do highly recommend this uh, movie, uh, hands down. If you are looking for something that uh, actually uh, does uh, represent the Ninja Turtles quite well, and actually uh, give us uh, what we would expect uh, for sure, I say this movie is definitely well worth uh, checking out, in my opinion, uh, for uh, sure. And trust me when I say that, once you actually uh, do uh, see it for yourselves, uh, I know for sure that you'll definitely come out of the uh, movie theater saying, Calabunga, dudes! So... So yeah, that's pretty much why I can say, uh, of course, uh, the Haga uh, for uh, sure. And because of that, yes, by the way, I am definitely uh, happy to uh, say that I am definitely going to give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem a massively incredible 8.5 out of 10 as my final score. So, so yeah, truly, I think it's uh, definitely one that's uh, well worth uh, checking out, in my opinion. And, 
And yeah, I think you're uh, definitely going to be uh, in for a uh, nice uh, Triga for a sure. It's definitely uh, well worth the uh, watch uh, for a sure. And I couldn't get enough of it uh, hands down uh, for a sure. So. so yeah, pretty much if anything, it's pretty much what I can say, of course, on that front uh, for a sure. So what else can I say except, uh, well, uh, pretty much uh, get yourself into your turtle shell and of course, uh, pretty much uh, and have your uh, ninja gear on. Uh, with you and of course uh fight your way uh, to of course well see this movie for yourself so so yeah that's pretty much what i can say on of course that front all right all right, so I guess on that thought, that'll pretty much uh, do exactly that. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest thoughts video. And by all means, I must ask, what do you think of this uh, movie? Uh, if you have already uh, seen it, do you think it's just uh, absolutely incredible? And you uh, think it actually uh, does represent on uh, what you want for a uh, Ninja Turtles movie? Or do you absolutely hate it and it just uh, feels like an uh, absolute waste of time uh, for sure? Or are you somewhere in between uh, with this uh, with this uh, movie? Uh, let me know what you uh, thought about in the uh, comment section below. I would definitely uh, love to know on what you guys uh, think of it for sure. So, so yeah, I think it's pretty much what I can say on, of course, that front. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest thoughts video, and we're not done just yet. Oh no, no what? Uh, because uh, for my uh, next thoughts video that you're definitely gonna see uh, later uh, today. I guess seeing how we uh, did get done with, of course, this movie, I think it's about time that, of course, uh, we uh, transition ourselves back to Disney uh, for a sure uh, and talk about the uh, latest movie that actually contains, and I'm not joking, 999 Grim Green Ghosts uh, for a sure. So, so yeah, if you actually uh, know exactly what I'm talking about with this uh, subtle little uh, hint there, uh, yeah. I think you're definitely going to have to uh, see it for yourself, so, so yeah. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hey guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two member channel with Sam the Thomas Fan 1, Sam Attack 4427 The Thomas Fan 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube, and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon as well as join our official Discord server to see what we've provided. If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as gain access to updates and play more in addition to gain some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show in support to me on both of my wish lists on Amazon and Right Stuff Anime, and even supporting me with my link on Streamlabs that you can find on my Twitch page. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.